everybody, and welcome to Nerds Playing Podcast. I'm your host, Eric De Silva. With me, as always, is my co-host, Jose Romero. Greetings and salutations, fellow nerds. Eric, how are we doing? Dude, I, I'm doing very well. Uh, for the second or the third week in a row, uh, very happy with the nerd choices I made. Really excited about some of the stuff I believe that is coming out right now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit closer to uh, to uh, finally filling the toy hole in my heart with some of my most recent acquisitions. Uh, first Miles Morales Marvel Legends figure. Don't want to brag. Humbly, I've acquired it. So it's been a good time for me. How about you? How's been your nerd week? Good, man. You know, we got a, we got a very special occasion coming up. We were talking about earlier, Valentine's Day. So to everyone like us who have girlfriends, that sucks. For your single guys, yeah. remember the next day, dating season begins officially on February 15th. Don't make the mistake of starting to it's, date someone right before because that's just ill-advised. It is. You got to come in on the 15th, 15th when there's a lot of like sorrow and like broken hearts. And you, you come you in and like, on, hey, sleep. I know how you feel. Exactly. That's how it be. February 15th, right up to the release of uh, Call of Duty uh, every, every November. That, that's your dating season. That's, Once Call of Duty comes that's out, that's your dating season. After that, yeah, shut up shop. It's yeah, if you're not hooked up by, by Call forward. of Duty, then just re- give yourself a couple of months. February fifteenth, boom, open season at that point. Yeah, you know what? It wasn't. It wasn't your. It was a rebuilding season. That's what it was. Yeah, it was a rebuilding season. <laughs> you're putting your yeah together. You're building up the whole yeah franchise about it. You put a little more time in the gym. Run a couple of plays. That's true. You know you. Build yourself up. Yeah, you can do it. You can make it happen. going, you know, February 15th. You take it to a nice place. All the prices come down. The flowers are back to normal. The chocolates are oh, back down. The, my God. They're giving the shit away the next day. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Listen, you pick the right girl on February 15th, and then the next week, you guys can have your own personal Valentine's Day and pay half the price of us dummies for yeah, trying to exactly. you know, do the, the right thing. So, a choice. Uh, it is what it is, right? What are you going to do? Uh, it's it, this episode is less nerd splitting and more romance splitting. <laughs> That's how we do. We gotta be reverse or eat nerds. Go, nerds hook up too, dude. Let's, let's, yeah, let's, we got it. Let's gotta, get rid of the misconception there. We're all it. hooking up here. Let's just get that perfectly clear. At least the majority of nerds are. I'm assuming that. I mean, listen. If you guys want the worst dating advice, ask me because I got it all. So I can really show you the creme de la creme of like the best worst choices. It's not the kind of choices that are not going to get you a chick. It's going to get you the kind of chick that you go, what was I thinking about getting that chick? Those are the kind of advice that I had. It all counts though, man. You know, if if the world is dry, dude, take what you can get. Experiences are experiences and I'm a master of many of those. So uh, hit us up on social media if you have any questions. Uh, Hashtag uh, Eric help me date or, 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 or a date guru uh, uh, or nerd date. What is something like that? We'll figure it out. Help us all. Uh, (laughs) <laughs> so let's transition into some solid nerd stories, nerd stuff here. But you know, happy Valentine's Day to all the ladies out there, of course, and all the good stuff. A little shout out to the, the, the female nerds. A lot of female nerds out there. And again, no misconception. It ain't all guys. Let's, be, let's make that perfectly clear. At the end of Valentine's Day, if you want to listen to nerd explaining, do that. Nothing brings a couple closer together than hearing two guys in their forties talk about what's cool and what's not. Either be be Nerd bashing uh, Bugga Baba Fett or gushing over it. I don't know. Depending. Every opinion uh, differs and we'll be talking about that later on. Let's get started. Let's stick with Star Wars since we sure. mentioned Bubba Fett here. We got a little special announcement. Not special announcement. But they did officially uh, release the dates and then I guess a new poster for um, Obi-Wan Kenobi series. It's coming out on officially May 25th. Of course, Disney Plus. Uh, it's going to be six episodes. So not, not a long one. And I got to say, I can't really be excited about this, dude. I, I can't. Because apparently anything involving Kathleen Kennedy... I'll put it this way. The only, thing, the only cons- good consistency we've gotten from them is through Mandalorian. I don't know. I'm saying and consistency. Rogue the, the movies Rogue have been Rogue. all over the place. Oh, consistency. You know, Mandalorian's oh, been the only right. true consistent sure. thing, you know, from episode to episode, season to season. Um uh, Mandalorian's been so consistent when he went into another right, series exactly. and elevated exactly. the series. Exactly. So That's how it's been. It's the 2.3 seasons of Mandalorian, 2.2 depending on episodes. But I mean, that's the only consistent thing. So I, I just don't know. I mean, what? I, listen, I'm hopeful. I'll be optimistic about it, but I, I don't know what we're going to get out of the show, dude. I don't know. But, but and, and we got a good break, too, though. We got a lot of what? But, so we got like two, almost three months. If we don't have anything on Disney Plus. Yeah. Oh, so At least from Star Wars. All, I mean, we get, I mean, we get listen, Moon Knight. Listen, I. I 
I'm I'm not gonna pretend to know. I understand the, what Disney Star Wars is thinking. Like I, I when it comes to Disney Marvel, we all have a pretty good idea what the game plan is, more or less. Disney Star Wars, I'm perpetually going like, why, why, why are you do that? Um, why not release Kenobi on May the fourth? Yeah, I well. I, and I was reading the article because I, I, that was my first thought when I first heard about the date. But they didn't mention if it's in here or another one. But they said that it's also the 45th anniversary of Star Wars release. So there's something kind of there. But 45 is not really... For movies, you're looking at what? 25, 50, 100, you know, right? Yeah, so, 25, I mean, so, right? Usually it's... It, it's There's something. For, for whatever that's worth. You're right. May the 4th would have been the, the, you know the, the most obvious decision. I, but I, I don't know about that because for the past two years... Uh, any kind of Star Wars, a Disney announcement has fallen flat in its ass. There's been almost nothing. Like so, like yeah, so. Forty three and forty four didn't count, but forty five. I guess. That's where I you're mean, gonna make your stand like nine and fifty. Again, I'm like, mm. if you wanted to, to me, you want to you want to start building up the relationship between the fans and the IP again. Like come in May the fourth, hot with like that show, and then maybe like a like a. 20 minute highlight reel what's to come in the next two years that is a way to make yeah. me the fourth pop unless you got something if you're gonna have something where like everyone gets a force <laughs> power for 24 hours happy may the fourth like if you don't have that yeah I mean, yeah i don't know how long moon Knight's night's gonna it's gonna run past the fourth i don't think it would have mattered you could have moved up moon Knight one or two weeks not a big deal but whatever whatever True. i mean Captain Kennedy, it's just, it goes back to what I'm saying. I just, the confidence level is not quite there for me. So, I mean, listen, I'm, I hope it's great. Maybe it is, and that's fantastic, but whatever, right? But listen, at least it's on the horizon. We know it's coming, so I hope it's cool for nothing, sure. uh, yeah. for nothing else. Uh, the next one is an interesting one here. Your take on this. So, right. Charlie Cox, of course, you know, Daredevil and Netflix and now in the MCU. Obviously, we saw him in no way home dude yeah so i guess he did an interview and he had these comments and i have my one word for this comments but i'm gonna get your take on it first so sure you know, he's talking about how lucky he was you know to have been cast in the role blah 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 I ho he hope he plays the role forever which you know, is not gonna happen but i get it he's very happy about it uh, but this is this quote kind of caught my attention here uh it says i don't know their plans but yes my hope is to get to do as much as i'm allowed to do and to be involved cox continued the one thing that being an MC allows that we couldn't really do in Netflix stuff is that I can now interact with other MCU characters. True. So that would be really cool. Crossover is the thing I would like to do next. I, I don't know what that looks like. Let me say it again. I don't know what that looks like, and I don't know what they're planning and all kind of stuff. But there are some really interesting stories that I would love for the character to explore. So focus on these two sentences here. I, uh, I don't know what it looks like, and I don't know what they're planning and all all that kind of stuff your take on that sentence because i have a take on that um i think you and me are both on the same page where you can take those two sentences into one word which is lies lies, lies. lies. all let lies me, let me tell you something if no way home has taught me anything from the andrew garfield to the charlie cox yes. of it all because both of them have said we're not in that movie at all, is that I totally understand now how people feel in comic books when they're pretty sure the main character is a superhero. Like, I know you're Batman. I'm not Batman. What do you mean? <laughs> like, it's, I, I totally, because we're like, you are in the movie. Oh, no, no, not me. It was, I never got the call. Like, it's just the completest garbage. Or, it makes me feel like, like Jimmy Olsen. Like, don't treat me like a redheaded reporter. <laughs> don't do that. Yes. Just be honest with me. Like, say I know, but I can't tell you, but it's awesome. Or I know part of the plan because they keep the rest behind the vault. But what I do know, I'm excited about, but I totally exactly. can't tell you. Like, just be honest with it. Don't give me this. Do really, does anybody really believe that there's no plan for Daredevil? I mean, seriously? I mean, come on now. This is Kevin Feige. This is the one thing Marvel does best, the best, right? Is plan and execute, right? And, and think five steps ahead, right? Stop it. <sighs> if someone's watching too much Seinfeld, right? If it's not a lie, if you believe yeah. it, apparently Jules Costanza is coaching. Andrew Garfield, now Charlie Cox. Oh, 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 my God. Joe Costanza's school line, you know? Start believing that you don't know a thing, even though you know <laughs> everything. Yeah, it's a whole... 
It's yeah, it's just about to yeah, 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 it's, it's, just, it's just, Yeah, he knows yeah. exactly when it's coming. We may even see him. I think he's popping up in She Hulk, to be honest with you. Right, that's a heavy big right. rumor. She Hulk and obviously an Echo. They talked about like Echo is essentially going to be right. Daredevil three point right. five. Like Echo is Echo is going. It's almost like Marvel heard about Book of Boba. So it lets everybody know that really Echo is just there Maybe they're going to rush the episodes of Echo like, okay, fuck this. Let's bring in the Charlie Cox. Here we let's go. Bring in, let's make it. Let's keep the asses yeah, in the seats. Maybe. That's but, what we got to do. Course, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Not, of course, not. it's just such nonsense. I'm, I don't, I'm tired of hearing it. It's like, come on. You're right. He could have said, yeah, I know, but we're keeping on the wraps. And that's it. Right? Simple. Yeah. Well, I, I, re- I respect much more of a I know, yeah. but I can't. Which, than which is fine. I mean, yeah, like they, now, they're held in secrecy all the time. You know, Tom, yeah. When, now, from now on, whenever I read a comic book where someone's like, I know you're the hero. They're like, I'm not the hero. I'm like, I'm going to be. I, before I used to side with the hero, I'm like, I'm not going to fuck that guy. guy. <laughs> you keep hammering him until they break. <laughs> Oh man, so that I thought that was pretty funny. But listen, we're gonna get tons of. They know what there that was going. We're gonna see him. I, I really think we're gonna see him soon. I, I I just don't see why not. I just I'd be shocked if he I, if he's I, not in She Hulk and or Echo. I really would be. I I I think he's gonna be in both. And then uh, as soon as Echo's over, they're gonna announce a Daredevil series for twenty twenty four. Probably. I, I think that thing else at least. If let's assume worst case whatever one case they're not in, he's not involved at the show. Fine. We're gonna get an announcement soon about what he's going to be involved in at some point, in some capacity. He, I just don't see how that doesn't happen. But it's Kevin Feige. We know he's got this show already wrapped up. It's in the can. It's, it's come on, let's stop it. So, so look, so look forward to. But yeah, Charlie Clark, shame on you. Go sit down with Andrew Garfield. That damn liar. We knew he was lying. Um, I know the story. This is an interesting one because this one here is for uh, any trivia buffs out there. We have a new answer to a, tri- a future trivia question. And I'll start with this. I'll be talking about here, Russell Crowe. Great actor. I love me some Russell Crowe, right? He's been officially... Uh, Got to be in Thor Love and Thunder. Exactly. As Zeus. Zeus is coming out. Now he's going to be in, he's gonna be in uh, Craven the Hunter. He's been cast in unspecified oh. role. So okay. I don't know what the role is, but he's been cast officially in Craven the Hunter for Sony. So... That being said, we'll get to that in a second, but that being said, this makes Russell Crowe, unless I'm wrong, I, I haven't checked it fully, but I believe the only major actor to be in all three major universes. D- DC. Yeah, he was in yeah, DC. He was, uh, the fu- Marvel, Marvel and now, now Sony. And then the Sony Spider-Man. Marvel. I think, he might yeah, be the only big name right. in all three. Trivia yeah. question. Here is your answer. Because yeah, I can't oh, think of anybody man. else. It's a bunch of two. I think uh, Lawrence sure. Fishburne. Jared Leto, of course, now he's in two. Um, I, I know there's someone else I'm missing, but I can't, I can't think about it right now. But either way, I know there's at least another, one or two more. Or maybe, oh, Michael Keaton. Apparently, he, we, we, saw, we saw him in Morbius, Keaton, so yeah, that, that's that counts. One. So he's in both. So yeah. well, number three. So this is the first one. Russell Crowe, good for you. And listen, yeah. good for Craig. Listen, that and good talent. Like, like Russell Crowe. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. DC, Marvel, DC, Marvel, Sony. He, what he... Bane, Venom. Well, the, the Bane, it's not the D, I'm talking about DCU, talking about the share universe. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. The share universe. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah exactly. that, That's right, why they right, say right, universe, right, like right. it's main, main three. Um, but yeah, okay. the, you, you are, yeah, you can, yeah, maybe technically. Technically, I'm a technical. Right, semantics, right. but I'm just saying officially as far as the, these shared universes, then yeah, he's the only one. So, but yeah, there's Russell Crowe, sure. man. I don't know who's going to fucking play out. I don't know. You more know about Craven than I do, but I. I, you know what? Uh, just like we were talking about Madam Web mm-hmm. the other episode, and uh, about there's old Madam Web, and then there's Jessica Carpenter, uh, who is a second Spider Woman, the black and white spider suit, uh, who becomes the new Madam Web. I think maybe they're going to be doing where original and he te- he teaches his son how how to be this, but. Something killed. That's what Craven goes after. That's oh, going to be so the big thinking, bad uh, of the, he's of the movie. Father, then. Okay. He's going to play, the, for lack of a better term, the the either the the Uncle Ben or the Aunt May, depending which Spider Man <laughs> universe you're. you're sure. gonna, it's going to be the relative who dies, well, and now Clark can go pick but, one. Uh, someone always dies in the yeah, universe. So, yeah, whatever. It's fair enough. Yeah, you you, yeah. you need an sure. avenging uh, okay. incident to occur, and you know if you're a hunter. You obviously are going to fight, go after dangerous things. So something is gets the best of him, cheats, you know, to kind of show like even at the age, the older age that Russell Crowe's in, he was still the superior hunter, but the other opponent cheated. And so because now Craven's got to go and 
you know, revenge his father and show that he is the ultimate hunter, regardless of what he, whether what stands in front of him, and that he ends up becoming a better hunter than his dad, but by using everything his dad taught him and then bringing his own uh, personal inner fire and passion to what he's doing. I think that's just going to be. I guess, it. Listen again, Russell Crowe is great, so we're, we're, it's a win for them <laughs> at the end of the day, right? I mean, it doesn't mean that he's going to be good, but whatever. At least if he add, if he adds talent, okay. that's a plus. Here's here's a question. In which movie do you think they're gonna do a uh, a gladiator callback and Russell Crowe's gonna yell out, "Are you not entertained?" Like, which one is it gonna be Taika or is it gonna be Sony? Because I feel like Taika would be the I, for I, sure yeah, way to I, go. I, I has, gun to my but head, I, I, I would say I would say Marvel. I think. I mean, because I I don't know what tone yeah, Craven's gonna I, take. I have no idea, but we know what tone Taika is gonna do. <laughs> so I think. Yeah. That I could see something like that kind of slipping Plus, in there. You know, it was, was what was Russell that Crow as Zeus asking us if we're not entertained. I mean, it gets oh, no, be a uh, phenomenal. I have to research to see what uh, what, who produced uh, Gladiator. I don't remember the top of my head, but yeah, if it's Sony, then maybe, but yeah, I don't, I can see that more with Taika. I, I could read it, cool, which would be phenomenal yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Okay, the best lines are already if that's the case. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next story here. Um, ooh, little. Oh, there you go. Got you up now. The issue with the screen there. Um, so yeah. So they announced Disney Plus back on the news here. They I guess there was there was more talk about the X Men 1997, which we heard it was going to get released. We just weren't quite sure in what form or whatever. So they, it's been confirmed. Ten episodes debuting in uh, mid 2023. And the interesting okay. piece of that interview, and they say here, um, they, they want the show to pick up where the original X Men series wrapped. The original show ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. So apparently this is going to be a yes. direct continuation of that series, So, which is which cool. is cool, right? I, I, thought, I thought it was going to be like a yeah. reimagining or a reboot, what, which right. I was fine with, to be honest with you. Because I'm, I'm right now, I don't even remember how it ended. It's been so long since I've seen the series. <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, I'll tell how, you exactly I mean, why I don't remember is because, okay, this is how much of an X-Men fan I am. With a so do you remember in the season three... There was a five-part crossover where Apocalypse found the time, the city out of time and space, outside of time, called Chronopolis. I remember that. And he was, and he was taking uh, different X-Men from different timelines to take their psychic energy to break the, the universe and the timeline and the whole thing. It, it actually connects a little bit to uh, Loki because at the end, uh, uh, Bishop is being helped by like this temporal janitor who at the end reveals to be Immortus, which is Kang, so... It's all connected, uh, but uh, but uh, um, in halfway through season four, they changed the art studio, and then the art got so bad I couldn't finish watching this year. I was like, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. So that's that's that was my problem. So I, we're both I, in the dark here. The I was like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm a li- even I'm a little in the dark. I'm right, but it's on Disney Plus. So maybe after this recording, I'll, I'll bump well, yeah, up yeah, and see yeah, what's going to, on. Yeah, that's to, I mean, if that's the way it's going to be, we're going to have to watch go back and rewatch it yeah. otherwise we'll be like okay so what happened so i don't know so but but that's good leave it to marvel to always give us a reason to go back to watch the things we didn't care about because now it's like, apparently not to watch it yeah like, at, at least it's kind of interesting that they're taking that route and it's not just a a reboot or whatever they're doing or i don't know i mean i assume the animation is going to be updated I, I guess i don't know i hope I mean, so yeah I mean, it should look similar, I think it's similar, but, but rest smoother. Me smoother, you know, well, back then you, you're watching now. Right. I mean, I think I put on like I was watching the beginning of the when Disney Plus first came out. I mean, yeah, it looked, right. I mean, this is 1990 cents before HD and all that, so it's only it can only look so good. So I'm sure that will be updated. I mean, listen, if they, if they make them move, if they make them look like the original, but they make a move like they were moving in the what if i'm i'll be happy because that'd be like light, right i think something like that like, would kind of work so like, you don't want to go like like cgi kind of thing yeah. it's just it's just too jarring no yeah no you need you need, you need to feel right. hand-drawn you need to feel yeah, it's hand-drawn agree. absolutely i will say this because when you told me that the, i was actually kind of really excited as one new story I, I looked into when you told me about it while looking up into this i came across an x-men rumor that i thought would be really interesting to talk about in the show there's a there's a major storyline coming up in Marvel Comics later on this year called Judgment Day, which is the Avengers versus the X Men versus the Eternals. Hmm, interesting. And the the rumor out in the webosphere, and I've heard it from like maybe one or two like other comic hmm. YouTube channels I trust, including some of my sources, have said that the rumor is that the storyline is going to reveal that the mutants 
are actually descendants of the uh, of the uh, of the deviants from the mm. Eternals. Their genetic descendants, and that is how Kevin Feige was going to introduce mutants to the Marvel MCU. I don't know if I like that. The sound of that. I kind of like it because it shows that the the whole point about deviants in the comics is that their genetic um, their genetic makeup was random. So the reason why they came out looking very ugly is because their genes were constantly evolving or taking shots. And what if I evolve like this? What if I look like that? And so if you think about that, trans transferred through human genes is what gives immune powers because of these random deviations what a mutation is, I kind of like that, that the reason that humanity started to evolve is because of these deviant genes in us that allowed mutations to occur. I kind of like it because it's it, it's it doesn't change anything about human evolution in terms of what X-Men is, but it does give it a a, a origin point and not a random know, boof, maybe, maybe because, because it's anything associated with Eternals just doesn't do it for me. It's, I understand. I understand. You know, understand. you know what I'm saying. But listen, if... If Marvel can make you care about Thor: The Dark World and Amazing Spider-Man One I don't and know Two, if really cared about Thor then the Dark. let's. This you can't watch anything yeah, you without can. it. So you, yeah, it matters. They, they made it matter. They made it matter. They made it matter. You can definitely watch. You can probably skip like five they, or six of these movies and be fine. They made it matter. They made it matter. If they made you now after No Way Home go, oh maybe I will watch Spider-Man: Amazing Spider-Man One and Two. They made it matter. That's all I'll you need is someone that, go, oh, but, maybe but not, like, we'll no watch one's it. watching. Nobody will watch Dark World. I, 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 I guarantee you, after Endgame, no. people revisit it no. Dark World. I no. promise you. I mean, not you no. and me, obviously. I don't think better I than that. Yeah. But I bet you a lot of no. people I, did. And it's not... No. I, I, there's no way. I didn't know. <laughs> Impossible. Not even Marvel can pull that off. Um, <laughs> I mean, maybe Kathy can. I I thought it was an issue. Remember, and so when that comic book comes out, I'll let okay. you know exactly if that part is true. And if it is, am I preface for what they're planning to do with the Marvel mutants as well? Maybe they connect yeah, to I mean, two well, series in 2023. Yeah, that's part of the already planned. So I, who knows? I doubt. I mean, yeah. I mean, this storyline is already done. They're promoting. No, right, right. But I mean, yeah, done. what he got wind of because I'm sure he, the, the, whatever the new mutants, this new version is, I'm sure that was started about three, or four years ago. Easily. Yeah, you absolutely. think so? Yeah, I mean, it's a, I mean okay. they can't just. That's the that's what's what they do, right? Again, that's what they do best. They plan ahead and they're planting seeds. Or, right. Yeah, I mean, they they've had this for, man, I want to say four or five years, when the sale went down, or they knew the sale was going down, and even Kevin Feige said it'll take four or five years. When that was his quote when he first got it, um, you know, not to expect okay. anything right away because obviously the plan was in motion. They're not gonna you know shift gears because sure. they got X Men. So, I'm sure they got something up their sleeve. But listen, we all I think that's the thing. Everyone's kind of waiting. When is the right. shoe dropping? Because you know it's been, I guess, been. Sure. I want to say five years or close to it. So, so it's been a while since they bought Fox. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I think when they when they announced, uh, I think it was in 2018 when they had the last big Marvel announcement. Right. Remember where they when they announced Her Mahersha Ali as Blade? It like, took everyone by surprise. They brought the whole sure, cast sure. of Eternals out and all that kind of stuff. So I think you said it right. About it's about it was, I think it was about four or five years pandemic pushing things back another year no right yeah so, so the cell went down maybe. originally in 2019 which means it was actually acquired before then because obviously nothing you know right. once they agree to sell it takes like a year to go right, right. Yeah, so yeah, 2018 yeah so now it's been four that. years just about so yeah so around there so you look so really by 2025 is probably soon uh, you know, if, if the cartoons come out 2023 that means 2024 mm -hmm. this should be maybe a tv I series I, I, I if not on the next year if anything, it might be this year. Okay. Who knows, right? Because this, we don't even know what's coming out in the next two years. So they may announce we what's coming out in 2025. Comic that's when I think we may get that, you know, official. I mean, dude, we haven't even hit convention season yet with all the big announcements oh, yeah, yeah, come out. So who knows? Yeah, we got about, be... well, no, four or five months from right. that. But yeah, we know something's brewing up. But all that being said, let's get to, I was going to say this for last. I really was, but I really want to okay. end on a high note. So that being right. said, uh, finale, Book of Boba, finally ended. Uh, <laughs> I thought we had other nuggets. And we're, we're going straight, straight to the meal. meal. No, you're this, not even happy no about the nuggets. Meal. Yeah, the, the, like, the dessert's right, great. We know we got dessert this. pending after this. We always know what that is. Sure. So sure. Book of Boba Fett. Oh, man. I'll say this. There was some really cool shit in there. 
Those there was some really cool shit in there. I, I, I don't know who to blame, to be honest with you, but the writing and just so much really stupid shit happened. Every day, just all those great moments are just completely wasted. I, I'm not saying I hated the finale, but it was just dumb. It really was so dumb. Okay, wait. So <sighs> I, 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 um, maybe because I've had my my bar set so low, um, that I let, let's uh, let me let me frame it this way. This is by far the best episode Robert Rodriguez has directed <laughs> for <laughs> Book of uh... Boba. It is the best episode. I, I, I don't. I, I can't even be confident one, saying that. To be honest with you, but three, is, is it is this episode? Which episode is better than this episode? Episode one, three, or four? None of those. None of those are as good as I this don't episode. Know. From from, a, from just visual standpoints and cool shit, yeah. But it's, Listen, it's, it's, it's just Robert dude. This Rodriguez, is really just. It's so. And the more I thought about it, Robert, it's just so dumb. Robert oh Rodriguez figured out how to make things look fast in Star Wars. He, he did, in the second half, he did. The first half, the action was like, oh, okay. And I knew it was Art Rodriguez. I started watching. I'm like, oh, I guarantee you directed this episode. It got better the second half. But the first half, I was like very slow. Yeah. And it, just, it just didn't feel right. I'm like, Rod- Rodriguez is directing this one. I didn't look it up before watching the show. And it got better at the end, Rod Rodriguez. Okay, well, that figures. But, oh, my God. I don't, I, dude. Let's start with let's start with the positives, right? Look, listen, a lot of cool shit. You know, Mando both side by side. That was cool, of course. You know, them fine kicking ass flying around, jetpacking, attacking, going almost butch casting in the Sunnets kid, but armored and with a better chance of survival. Yeah, they came out, cool. yeah, literally gunslinging. That was cool. Grogu, of course. You know, he's he's as the kids say, he's adorbs. Um, yeah, of course. Come on, dude. Grogu for Christ's sake. We all knew he was coming back. You know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, uh, the two scenes that got me for Grogu was when uh, when when Mando was on yeah. the little car- <laughs> carriage when, when, and, and it, they hit the droid bursts uh, over overheats and he explodes and the whole thing flips over and he turns his jetpack on to catch Grogu like a football player <laughs> trying to save an interception from like a thirty yard line. Like, oh, like I was like, oh my god! As a dad, I was like, I I know that. I feel that feeling. I get it. And the second was. Seeing Grogu, I, I, at first there was a part of me, like, okay, so when Grogu fought the battle droids, the Scorponok droids, okay. I was thinking, oh my god, he's going to short circuit it like he did a little uh, a, like training sphere oh, with, right, right, with, yeah. with Luke, or or I thought it was going to go full Magneto where he's going to burst all the parts apart, and I was like, that, you know, it would be dope. Because he did the little the, the main the main pin for one of the legs, I go, okay, cool, yeah, he's still learning, it's all that. I was good with that. But when he when he calmed the rancor down. I was like, oh man, this is this is movie magic. Like I was completely caught in that hole. I was like, this was a great scene. And then he falls asleep next to him and I was like, oh <laughs> god damn it. That's yeah, you you make something beautiful and you make it adorable, like son of a bitch. Stuff like that. I was like, that, that, there you go, like, That Robert. was cool. Let's the Rancor stuff. Yeah, we, we knew the Rancor was coming. We knew that scene was gonna come. It came, that was cool. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, we knew yeah. that. There's no machete. I'm insulted they didn't feature machete in this. Where's my what do you go? I understand. I, I, I think he should have like showed up and I like, cleaned up the the, the, the runaways and the stragglers. That would have oh. been I wanted I mean, to see that. Rodriguez, but, yeah. You're not gonna have your boy. And uh, so I was, I was like, where the hell is my chete? Either way, but that was a cool but, scene. I like but, liking writing I, it. We knew I was coming. In. That was cool. I like that. That was that was well done. And I will say this: they they finally did the thing that you and me have been saying for for ever since this series started, which is like, if you want to make Boba Fett look cool, keep his helmet on, so you can have a stunt guy do a bunch of cool crap. And they did it. And guess what? Boba looked dope as crap. Uh, like that one scene where he like slides on the ground with his jetpack and then he picks himself up to shoot. So I was like, yeah, "That's that was cool. Oh, yeah. It was great." I I was like, "There you go. That's what we've been wanting this whole right. time." Right. Like I said, those good moments. There really was some cool stuff in there. I can't yes. deny that. But oh my god, there was just so much dumb shit. I, I honestly don't even know what it be. There was so much stuff I forgotten. Shit, I honestly do. I, I saw one complaint. This this wasn't my complaint, but I heard it's a lot from a few people. I, I I don't know how I feel about this to be honest with you. But they said. The whole thing with Grogu, right? It, it completely undermined the ending of season two Mandalorian. And I get where they're coming from. Because, you know, they set it up to, here's Luke. Oh, my God, we all love it. Oh, my God, I want Google, Google for Cook of Cocoa Puffs. He's going, oh, we're going to train you for a Jedi. Then uh, the next time we see him, okay, bye, you're gone. Right? Okay, so what was the point of the, that? all that for? 
I'll tell. I, you so, know, so I, I get it. I, I, I that wasn't my complaint. Has, I mean, I, I it just, look, listen, I get it. It doesn't make sense. I just didn't care. It doesn't make sense, but I don't care. I, I, think, I think it does make sense, and I'll tell you why. It's because this whole thing has been happening for six months, maybe a year. That's how long this has been since uh, since the end of Mando to 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 that point um, on on Book of Boba. I give it six months to a year. Okay, so what that was showing was is like when Luke said, "I'm not even really teaching him. I'm just helping him remember." So as he's remembering and becoming much more like, "Oh yeah, I could do this because this," you know, he sees like as much as you're remembering there's now something new in your heart. Like you wanted to find a Jedi teacher because that's where you were raised in the Jedi temple. And that was what was familiar to you. But what you didn't count on is the new experience that you acquired along the way. And now that you're aware of these things, your priorities have changed. And as much as you're enjoying, like bringing things back up to the surface and remembering, I'm not even really teaching anything because you already know half the stuff and not more. So, you got to, instead of doing what you think you should do, like search out for another Jedi, you should do what you want to do. And I think Luke basically gave him the, the same option that Yoda gave him at the end of the Empire. You can go be with your friends or you could stay here and train and be a Jedi. And Grogu chose to be with his friend I, or his family, guess, whichever way you want to put it. To me, I saw it as a I parallel guess, of Empire. I was but... like, I could say, Dan, of some Mandalorian season two, I would love to take you with me, but you have an attachment. You know, I'll see you in the future, and there you go. Done. Right? I mean, because 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 I get, time, like I said, I didn't care, but I understand what they're saying. That it, what what is set right. up, two things either with that, which I would believe this this theory because it's Kathleen Kennedy. There was absolutely no plan with this. They they couldn't they couldn't think of a way to make Mandalorian without and I talked about this before and we had a first episode they can't think of a way to making it without Grady Grogu, without Grogu they can't so right. like they change gears okay fuck it let's put him in and I think that's what it is because <laughs> I think the, the our real plan would have been getting some training keep away from Mando and then bring him back in season four which we all thought that that would be the plan I I, I always said uh, my my idea was the, almost the opposite I said keep him in training but he comes back halfway through season Potentially, three which is fine but uh, that's not what you know they didn't do that so it just I, I don't know it just seems like they just okay well we need it we need well, it and me, this is I, we talked about even Boba Fett even the show like they didn't know what that was going on just put in Mando here and let's get this, this, this kick started well that's what I'm saying I think I think no they, had, they had to they had to they had to over overshoot they're like let's get back on track because I don't know if you heard but it, it, it uh, there was a report where they were talking to John Favreau where they basically said they love Robert Rodriguez, but he's not going to, he, he's that, that was his one Star Wars project. They basically fired him. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, and I totally, I totally get it. But because of, I'm sure as you were watching, you know, their version of the dailies and they're like, oh man, we are off Maybe. track here. What can, what can we do to get people back in here? Well, people are, you know, well, we can change the story, but people are losing interest. People will be losing interest by this point because we're already like four I mean, episodes I mean, they in. Could of course what correct. Can I, we do? Know, they could have done a lot of things, but and I think their course correction is bring Mando and bring Grogu. We're, we're going to jump the gun because we need something major like, to hook people only, back in. And only I think that's it. The thing this this Star Wars has is Mando. It goes back to what I said, right? It, that's just go, go huh? back, go back to the world. I, mean, right? I get it. I get it. it, I, it yeah, and, and, and listen, it, it, it was proof positive from the minute Bryce Dallas Howard's episode kicked in. The production oh, quality went, it was, it was, way that was went up. Simple as that. And, they, and, and she just completely, like, she just showed off her 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 director ball sack by doing that two-minute uncut shot. Like, okay, this is what happens when you actually know what right. you're doing. And I know, she she knows Star Wars. That's clear, yeah. Favreau knows Star Wars. Filoni knows Star Wars. Robert Rodriguez knows... Uh, unfortunately, the Robert Rodriguez of like of Dust Till Dawn and uh, El Machete and uh, a <laughs> Grindhouse movies now. and uh, and <laughs> the Sin City, like that that Robert Rodriguez stopped a long time ago, and now you have like Spy Kids and Shark Boy and Lava Whatever Girl. Else, that yeah. is where his mentality is, and I know he found a lot of success with kid stuff, but you can't do kid quality like like. You know what I mean? Like kid movie quality where you yeah. can cut corners because it's fun. You can't do that for a Star Wars property. People want to. It's almost like the Marvel Universe is this, a, an expected feel and quality that we want because we've had bad. And we're like, we want no. The closer you get to that, the more I'm going to disassociate yeah. you away from this. It can't feel like the, the prequel trilogies. And it can't 
feel com- uh, com- uh, like the prequel trilogies are feel too clean and too fake, and the sequel trilogy feels like they forgot what Star Wars was. We want at this point we want like concentrated Star Wars because we want you to know a hundred percent of the time you know what you're doing. Don't mess with us. We've been led astray both times, and if it doesn't feel like Star Wars we're off the jump. You're gonna start shedding viewers because Star Wars fans are super fickle because they've been hurt. Oh no, that's many what I'm times. saying, and it's like we're in a point where like, okay, we don't trust you, right? This is what they are. You're not in a bad relationship, right? Maybe the girlfriend cheated or whatever, and you're like, you just don't trust anymore. But there's always something there, right? She leaves the yeah. house. Where the hell is she going? I don't know. It's the same thing. We we look at that so differently now. But listen, I, I gotta. Farber's gotta take some blame here because some of the writing is it's really, really. Really bad in this episode. It's but here's I I I disagree. Well, hold on, you gotta you gotta explain why why is okay. really right. the, the writing is really bad right now. Start right. small. Okay. This no. is small stuff, right? This is just a little tiny shit that just but it adds up, right? When 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 Boba Fett leaves to get the Rancor, obviously it's next door. It's not, but whatever. They, they gave him Thrones that. I'm fine. Whatever. Fine. Of a Rancor or Slave One. Slave One is about 25 billion times more powerful. I'm going to show this Joyce in two seconds. Why does he go back to the place where Slave One is and not get Slave One and come back? That, there's just no reason for that not to happen. They even showed us an episode where they wasted our time for him chasing down this stupid ship for nothing. That would have been a great opportunity to show that he comes in, blast him. It's a wrap. But, but what, he, maybe he, but they got the, the rank because it's cool and it's fan right, service. But that, cool. but that, that shit yeah. is fighting. Because he had something, he had a better option, and he and they they, they chose so, to put the option so to please think, the fans as opposed to what actually makes. And that's a and that's just a small so thing. That's think, a small thing. The, I I feel like that because those the the the, the Scorpionite droids have had shields. The, the, those shields, the, the lasers would go against. We know that they don't. Otherwise, the shields would be in every right, spaceship there. in Star Wars history, right? Why not have those those shields in every ship? And then, and then, so no. Nah. I mean, there are shields but in not like, in Star Wars. Not like shields are down. Um, but okay. so now, right? So and, and first, why people still shooting? It's like why are you shooting at the shields? It's not working. Why is everybody fucking shooting at the shields constantly? It does I, not. I'm assuming it's because work. they're hoping that if they hit it enough times, maybe they'll overpower the shield. It over it. But you know, it's a lot of the effort. What else are you gonna not do? Work again. It's just silly. But again, that's not that's not even a complaint. I'm just saying, we know people in Star Wars shoot shitty. I get it. Right. Even though this movie, uh, everyone was well, on top. I'll say, I'll, I'll say, were I'll dying say the on both villains. Sides, so sure. like, there was a scene with uh, we have the uh, black. Uh, what is his name? What are the, the, the yeah, black Shantham? It's just him and the other ball guy from the Freedom Freedom Town. Freedom, 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 Freedom Town. Right. Only two uh-huh. people on the street, and there's a, a droid, computerized. Droid. Apparently, the IT departments do not exist in the galaxy far, far away. I get that because they can't program a droid to be so precise with its shooting. Whatever, fine. It's just two in the middle of the street, the droid, and about eight to nine guys. No one hits them. They don't even attempt to shoot. They all stop. If you notice the scene, for no reason, and they don't shoot for 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 a, a ten second. Like okay, there's two guys. It's not like you're aiming, and you got one. The, the whatever black is like fucking eight feet tall. It's a pretty big target. No one shoots, and then we do they miss. That's just it's that's just. <sighs> Whatever. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. Wait, and, and get Here's, this. And that, this right. I'm just getting one though. Because I need you to understand why this is so bad, right? This is so bad. Because also, that, right. that is just, that's just in defense. We, you can't, there's nothing you can say, well, they didn't shoot because. Uh, no, no, it's bad. No, you're it's bad. right. No. So now. I was going to say something else is bad the about plan, way afterwards. Right. That, that when when uh, right. Fennec is talking about the plan, oh, we got somebody here. Right. We got someone there. We got somebody here. <sighs> okay. So let's look at it logically, right? You got two of the green guys there by themselves. What what opens? The Gamora. Okay. Right. You got the Chewy guy in the middle of the street holding his hand. Black his gun. The other pe- right. the other stupid Vespas even more. They're the just mods. there in the middle of the street, waiting for this big army or whatever that they are outnumbered by. There's no strategy in the world that says you should be out in the middle of the street waiting for these guys. There is rooftops. There is hide behind something. You see something, you're caught in. Why you're in the middle of the street in plain sight? It doesn't make any sense. It makes I'll, it makes I'll no sense. You. You're supposed to be a lookout. 
this it's like sending a, a, you know a spy say oh don't don't hide behind the bush just walk up to the door knock on the door say hey, i'm a spy what's going on here that's exactly it's it's so bad it's off and then when they showed that the, the crowd get all the guns out and they're shooting the, the vessel folks they right. have guns with the chewy right. guy they take out little objects and there's no guns because they can't shoot because right. it doesn't I mean, it's so stupid that the waiter around there is like well, we can't give him guns because then he dies so right. really so there's guns here not guns it's just it's just it's really bad he gets shot in the leg ah. he can't he can't run the next scene he's running terrible these guys yeah well, we got to save the city who were mugging one of their own people in the first episode now all of a sudden we want to save our get the fuck out of here Bubba fett oh let's do this no one listens to Bubba fett he's worthless it's just so bad and the whole plan with the whole spice thing i'm thinking about it okay the whole thing with the sheriff last episode i didn't catch it at first but i thought about it after the fact right because they don't even really explain the spice thing they, they doesn't really go into it which, which is the problem we talked about the villain lack of that right. that was an issue but okay so now yeah the sheriff's like not in my town oh shit so you're in the middle of the desert and the only place to make a drug transaction is in front of the sheriff well, they got lost. They were saying they got lost. Yeah, but then he didn't run why they it. just... It's been done before. He mentioned, oh, you don't bring us in our town, whatever. It's not like it's the first time he's seen it. And they talk about that, right? Oh, invading their, their town. Like, okay, so it's a whole world of desert out there. And Tatooine, right? We've seen this planet 25,000 times. You don't have to do right in front of the chef. You don't have to do that. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. <sighs> the Cat Bane thing, whatever. I can live with that. Apparently, Cat Bane's a quick shoot. He's quicker than, you know, makes be the kid. But when he's got a gun point blank, he's very, very slow. Fair enough. Whatever. That was really bad how he died. It was terrible. Someone else could have shot him from afar, and I would have been totally fine with that. I really would have. It's just, it's bad. And it's just like things like that just don't make any sense. It's like, what are we doing in this show, dude? It's really awful. These decisions. And, and, and that's, that's all right. I'm not blaming Rodriguez on that. You direct what's given to you. Right, you can execute it shitty, but you can't. But you can't take a um, bad idea and make it good. You just can't. You just okay. Oh, this is the way it's done. I'll I'll, I'll tell you what 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 of my big problem with the story was is that um, if you remember the first episode of Boba Fett, the Trandoshans presented Wookie pelt as their 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 uh, right, yeah, offering gift to, yeah, yeah. and then in episode three or four. Black or at the at the at the casino, and he sees Trandosh is like fuck these guys, and he gets in a fight with them, rips one dude's arm off because they have sure. that beef. Why would you send the Wookiee to patrol the Trandosh? I didn't even catch that. That's a good point. I was like, that's that strategy. Is, like, it's just, it's just... You don't even know if that's strategy. Maybe they just don't like Wookies and they're like, oh, fuck this guy. They're not even part of the plot. Like, that's what I'm saying. Really... It's like, there's so much stuff. It's like, what? I mean, it's just, I don't know what the hell's going on. I mean, that, I guess, like I said, they were too busy giving us some cool shit. There was some cool shit here, no doubt. It was fun, right? but it's like, can yeah. we get a good story to go along with the cool shit? And it's just like silly, dumb stuff that kept adding up. I'm like, I just, I don't understand. And, and when Cad Bane told him about, you know, who really killed him, what was the point of that? What was Cad Bane even there to be? I, well, that I understand. He was trying to throw him off his game and make him, like, get angry. He was he was going to I can understand him. that. And why is he even there? They were losing and all that stuff. And, and the Freedom Town. They, they had a conversation at the beginning of this episode saying, oh, we're outnumbered, right? Fine. And we, the right. people are not here yet. Yeah, we don't know if they're going to come. Cad Bane tells them they're not coming. I made a deal. Whatever. I killed the sheriff and that's it. Right? Because that obviously that, that would have tilted the scales in their favor. Fine. The freedom people still show up. There is like ten of them. Right. There is like ten. How is that tilting the scales with like ten or fifteen people? Did that really make that much of a difference? And it was that, still that number. was the one thing. That was the so one bad. thing that I had a so problem bad. with. Like the, so the, the, the like he. Uh, this is one of my biggest complaint about the series that, is that is that Boba Fett supposed to have taken over uh, Jabba the Hutt's slash Bib Fortuna's right. criminal right. empire. Where are all his employees? Where is there's, his like? We're going. We're taking it to the mattresses. Like, where is that? Like, there was, it was, it, it, it was, it was more like a clubhouse than a than a gang. There was, there was no, no criminal. It, it was just him and Fennec because he he recruited the the biker gang like episode one. And and and, and not for nothing, not for nothing. I love my Star Wars and I love my original trilogy. But can a Gamoran get a shirt? <laughs> is that possible? Apparently not. Like, 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 I like, I like, like, I'm not trying to body shame you, but like, all you guys, like, the Morans have the ultimate dad bod, and they're walking hey, around they're, like they're proud, dude. That's fine. Listen, I can like, live with that. You, you, wow. you take, you, you own it. I get what I, yes. 
But I yeah, I, 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 I guess so. know, it would have been funny because when, when Boba Fett mentioned, let's go back to the base, because that's secured. His that 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 layer, whatever is right. That was a good why, idea. Like, why turn? It's just that would have been a way to go because the people there weren't in danger. No, they're not. The spice people are not going to go kill people in the town. They were able to get them. So you take yourself out of that equation. Go to the base, I, like Boba said, it. right? And you're safe and protected. I would have liked it though, but I would have liked it if everyone said, let's go back and fortify the base. And Boba's like, no, because these people, if they're going to, if they're going to, they're going to respect me, I got to make my stand here and, and, and maybe like see him actually create a plan on the spot based on like taking their assumptions. And like, that would have been yeah, cool I see that. to yeah. see that. Like, play out. Been, I mean, they, 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 they killed the lure of Bubba Feds out the window. Let's be honest. He's just, it's, this is not what we thought Bubba was and it is what it is. Right. But, yeah, it's just bad, right? I, just, I didn't get what they were doing. It was doing them a lot of cool shit, and I get that. I really do. And, and you get dazzled by, oh, the rancor my is kids, awesome. My, my, I get it. I do get my it. My kids love it. it. My I, kids I, love that the I, whole I, thing. I get it. I, I got understand. I can understand why. I guess that goes back to when we right. talk about the country with, with kids. Kids who enjoy it because you know, they don't care about that, right? You know, they're looking at the cool shit, right? Which is fine. I, I understand. Yeah, cool stuff, right? But for us, we need good story. We need good writing to go along with the cool yeah. shit. Like, it was nice to have both, right? You want both? Let's we'll watch Mandalorian, right? Let's watch I Mandalorian. Feel, that that has both. I feel like Star Wars, uh, Star Wars works best. So, for example, I think comic book movies, like Marvel, like good Marvel movies, they work best when they're targeting like a like a, a a 14 to 16 yeah. year old yeah. range that's Agreed. what and i feel like star wars works best when you target 14 year olds where you have the basis of what something kid like could be but the uh, the implications are like it's a bigger world out there like you watch episode a new hope it starts off with the good guys getting murdered and that's and true. darth vader ship choking a dude to death is like find yeah. me the plans like you're like, oh, there are stakes. There are hardcore dudes, and we're down to two robots for pussies. <laughs> we're fucked. Like this movie's gonna end in 20 minutes. There's no, like, so and and Book of Boba forgot all of that. There was no like, think of uh, think of what made the Mando episode of Book of Boba so good is that they walked in and it's a meatpacking uh, place where it's like it, heavy gangster vibes, heavy like you don't want to come in here, and he goes. You can come in warm, right. you can come in cold. Like and you're like, oh man, yeah, this is real. Ass, right? kind of, and we... Like, and that's the thing. Like, like th there's no reason that Book of Boba forgot how to be Star Wars until they ignored the main that's character. And 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 and, and, and you, you, just, if there's any lesson to have learned from this, is that you got it for Star Wars to work. It has to be Star Wars. From beginning to end, for like the next five years, or else you're gonna have these points of people going, I don't know, because yeah. they, you know, look at Boba, yeah. look at yeah. look and, at and Rise of Skywalker. If, like, I mean, oh, don't, don't keep watching Mandalorian. That's the only flagship show they have. But what if, Obviously. like I said, Ben Kenobi? I mean, can we really be that confident? That's gonna be a great show. I don't know. I honestly can't answer that question. Now. I don't. I, based on we're, what I've seen, no. I want it to be great. Of course I do. I love me some Star Wars. But if they give, if they give us that same kind of shit with that. <laughs> Man, I don't know what to tell you. It's bad. Listen, it's if you really have bad. if you have four good episodes out of a seven episode series, and three of those episodes were divert were divorced from the, the, the main production I, the main director that executive produced the series, course, that's a absolutely. problem. Absolutely, yeah. And that's why this it's so, such a weird series. It's such a weird series. And I, I, I really series. hope I, really I, hope, I, I honestly, hope for Ben. I do, but I, I I just don't know, man. I honestly feel like they had, they they were planning to do things a little different, Probably. Book of Boba. But when they started seeing episode one and two, they said we got to change things fast. And they said it was bring Mando and, and Grogu. Let's get them back in here because we need people to care about yeah. this. And was we'll well, and I think that was it. They had, they they pulled the Hail Mary to and made everything kind of I mean, like a little mini that, end game. That was there because that this show would have been disaster for what for when for that. It would have been oh, just, yeah. it would have been just a, a dumpster fire if not for those two episodes and, and and then that helped build the third one up. For what I guess as much as I didn't yeah, just like it, there's some cool moments there, fine. But because Mando and see him to find together, that's cool and all oh, that's nice. Great. Like Great. honestly, honestly, you could have you could uh, you could have made the whole book of Boba just episode four, five, and six and seven, and that would have been you didn't need one, two, three. It was that's unnecessary. Right. For the most part, or just integrate him in the next Mando season, whatever. If you wanted to, yeah, whatever, right? Yeah. 
So yeah, it's just it, it was just, yeah, it was as a series it didn't work. It had moments and the Mando stuff's great. But as a series it just eh. If you want to be really tight about it, four, five, five, six, and seven. Or, or, that's Book of Boba. If you want to be really or tight about it. Or made it nine but, episodes and give us and, and build that story episodes. out more. Or, right? here's, here's another thing too. It may, if they just titled it differently, if they would have said Star Wars, uh, you know, uh, Tatooine. Yeah, Bounty Wars or whatever. That, no, because if you, did, if you did a Star Wars Tatooine, look how cool if you did Star Wars Tatooine. Yeah. You could have one episode just for Boba, one episode just for Cobb yeah. Vance, one episode of of a, of, 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 a, of Mando go, going to Tatooine, building the ship, you go. You you have the the Luke Skywalker thing, and then you have the uh, episode uh, uh, that one moment episode five where they start blowing things up and there's spice, mm -hmm. and then you pull all those things together, and then even if you have a whole thing where Boba's talking about uh, he was trying to find the Sand People that, and then maybe like Cad Bane uh, says, oh, I was hired by the Pikes to kill them, so we, I played you again. See, like, that would have been something, right, that would have been something. Show how everything kind of connects, that right. would have been yeah, a really, because he, he, yeah. he could have done it five he, episodes he, he, he of that, yeah. that would have been great. Just Star Wars Tatooine, that's it. They didn't get it. revenge on, they didn't get true revenge on people who killed the Sand people, I and mean, it was, it was, it was right, Fennec yeah. they got there, I mean, it should have been, it should have been him I, and Fennec, I mean, laying down the law against them, right? Let's give credit where credit is Fennec no, she's is a badass. Bad she's great, but I mean, we didn't, if they want to call this show Star Wars Fennec Shen, yeah. this would have I, oh, been I think great. Better. She fought Cat Bane, I thought, personally. We talked about that, right? Well, because she's got right. the beef with it. But, you know, actually, I got to say, I got to say, um, because Django taught Cad and then... There's a connection Cad there, right. Taught but... Boba, that, that, but they, if they would have mentioned it more. And that's saying a lot of people don't that's know That's a good Cad point. Bane. That is a good point. Yeah, that, yeah that, those and are they should have brought yeah, the that. casual fans like, okay, this, they know who Cad Bane is. You're right. It's, oh, cool. And 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 they and they mentioned in passing, but they, if they would have like name dropped like what I taught, what all those years when I taught you how to be, now look what you became. Like something like that would have been one real sentence, powerful. Right. That's all it takes. One or two sentences. Yeah. It yeah. comes back to the writing, yeah. right? And, was... and flesh, fleshing all this stuff, uh, making it mean something. And that's yeah. what it felt. We knew it was last this episode was, and if it was fun, it was going to be kind of empty because it was the villains were whatever. The story was not fleshed out. And okay, it was just a lot of cool shit, which is what we got a lot of cool shit. Look, okay. At, at the end, I'll say this. Did Robert Rodriguez stick the landing? Yes, but his leg wobbled and he was uh, like that. Uh, so. I give it, I give like a 7.5. Uh, the, the last episode, not the series, the last episode is 7.5. As a whole, unfortunately, I feel like the episode, the whole series as a whole is is like a 7 only because of the work of 5, 6, I would and say seven. Pull it 6. Seven. Work, without, the, without those two Mando episodes, it would been like a 4, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah. See, I give it a seven. Without without those two Mando episodes, it yeah, would have been a I, six. I six now. Maybe six and a half. I'd bet. I just those two episodes are great, but I, but I mean, yeah. Again, is that is, they did a lot of that? Yeah, it did, which is unfortunate. Last... But yeah, it's uh, listen. It, yeah. yeah. So overall, just it wasn't their best. It really wasn't. I listen. Ben Kenobi, just do this right. Uh, they got uh, what's that? Forgot, is it Deborah Chow doing it? No. I forgot who the director is, but she's really good, and she did an episode of Mandalorian. Um, so she's got experience with this. Yeah. Okay. So she's a good director. So I'm hoping she can. Okay, let's write the shit right. Chicken, chicken oh, Bryce and, that is Howard the hell out of that, right? That's what I'm hoping for. Whichever, whatever the name, of, I forgot the name of the of the female director who directed episode two of Mando. Like, give I her think something. That, I think because that's she, her. I, 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 not a Boba. She was pretty solid. Oh, like, oh, that, oh, that oh, oh okay, okay. I'm talking about the director. Of... Yeah, no, of Boba. Like, the the one where they do the train heist. Like, get that going. Because that was no, a great That was episode. a cool scene. I like that. That was actually, that's, that's I like that episode better. Yeah, this is Deborah Chow. Yeah, there you go. Uh, who, oh, who there you go. No, See? I'm trying to, that which I directed a couple episodes of the Mandalorian. Oh, she, she's doing Amanda. Okay, uh, Obi-Wan right. Kenobi. So I, I, I hope because of okay. her. I really do. Um, she's better yeah. than Robert Rodriguez. Anybody's better than Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> uh, Michael Bay. Should have Michael Bay. Uh, but that being said, let's, let's get this early here. This, and on a, on a much more positive note. That's, of course, our dearest show, our dearest John Cena, Peacemaker. One episode left. Episode seven, which was a good episode. I said great. It was a good episode, but a great setup to what we're gonna. It did exactly what I need to do, I, right? Lay the foundation to how the end is gonna be and set up things what Bubba did not do, right? Set up, set up the dominoes. Right. And it did a really good job with that. We got some really cool shit in here. And, and 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 this series did a really good job of establishing. We have more than one villain, so we're gonna take care of 
the mid-level villain now, and the mm-hmm. bigger threat is the next episode. And they did all that. And, I mean, man, talk about just elevating a character piece. From last episode where, where Peacemaker says, I don't want to kill anybody mm-hmm. anymore, to this episode where he gets attacked by his dad in the white dragon armor and having to kill him too. Like, think about it. The first person you're killing after you say you don't want to kill anybody for it is your dad. I'm like, I was like oh man. Not like, that you can blame like, the guy, let's be honest, man. <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, there's no, like, no part of me is like, how yeah. could you? I'm just like, yeah. wow. After everything you've personally gone through to make this your kickstart to <laughs> when you're the road back of vengeance. But this could like, be kind of oh, cathartic, that's... right? It's part of his, uh, you know, therapy. Just trying to kind of purge, right? Everything that he's gone through. His, we finally got to see what happened to his brother and, he, you know, beat him up and he, yeah. I guess he got his... Fucked them up, and it, but, it, it, it was yeah. it was it was so much more simple and more disturbing than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it's literally a pit where people are betting on yeah, two kids beating yeah, the crap out of each it's other. It's back, it's real. Guys, it's real right? human <laughs> garbage. Right. Yeah. Moves totally. And then like the, just getting hit in the head and that causes an aneurysm. I'm like, yeah, that kind of crap happens all the time randomly, and that's yeah. what happened there. And I was like. It, it was that so it was the oversimplicity that made it much more gross yeah, to they me. built like, it up nicely and it made sense and then yeah. the whole thing with the team that that the whole thing coming together Murd dying and all that bringing up yeah Murd dying like that yeah. was i didn't see that that coming. was huge yeah, that was, that was yeah. Like, oh, shit, yeah. Okay. I, I thought it was gonna escape but you know i'm gonna walk in at the end oh shit, damn okay fuck. right um uh, but that was good that helped you know bring everyone together and obviously setting up again what we're gonna see in the end right the, the big giant Alien thing is fucking cool shit with the with a cow. The cow, uh, right? I didn't know what to expect if, when if it kept mentioning. It, like, what, what exactly? I know it's not a cow, but if you think about it, both episodes this week leaned in heavy with giant monsters. <laughs> yeah. You got the Rancor, yeah. the Boba, and then you got the cow <laughs> in Beastmaker. So I was like, oh look, it's a giant monster. It's like a mini kaiju. <laughs> well, well, that, that being said, are we gonna see John Cena riding that shit? Oh my god, how cool would that be? Um, oh my god! <laughs> what? 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 Eagly is flying Eagly. behind him. Uh, yeah. Kudos to Eagly again. The hug. Uh, come oh on. <laughs> man like like on the yeah, heartstrings on. <laughs> on the that, heartstrings that was, that was, cool. that was a cool moment yeah. and and good on john cena learning not to count his daddy when he took his own oh life. i know so that was like, so... i got it i got it that, I got was, it. Funny. Yeah. that, that was actually Great. well done that was a good callback to that. i like that yeah. but no, it, it... Great callback. a lot of little mm-hmm. callbacks and a lot of progression of characters everything made everything made sense there was no sense of confusion as to why mm-hmm. um the I, I there is one thing i'm confused okay. about and that is, if the butterflies' plan is to take over the world, why was Judo Master helping them? Unless he's yeah, also a butterfly. Oh, he's been told something. I, that, I think that's pending. I mean, I guess. I don't think we've seen the last of him. Maybe. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I, I thought the same thing. Like, I wasn't sure what their relationship was. I have no idea. Because he was like, you don't understand what or, they want. Or maybe, was like, so you're maybe he doesn't either. know that they are. He just, he was paid to protect that. Because he was with the, with the senator. Right. Or whatever. For all he knows, they, they murdered But he, they murdered he, knows, he's like, he knew there were butterflies because he was like, okay. they're, they're not what oh, you no, think. You're right, you're right. So he's right. Yeah, no, yeah. you're right. So he knows they're butterflies. Yeah. But maybe he's been lied to. Or he's got a butterfly maybe. inside. He's one of the two, yeah. Well, I'm thinking he was lied. Like, you know, a... Yeah, no, because he, he's eating the the Cheetos and whatever he eats. Uh, so he, that, right. I, they, I don't think they can eat real food from what they said, which is what. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah, yeah so they can't eat real food. They can yeah. only yeah. Thing he, probably said, yeah. he probably told him, oh, you know, we're good, they're okay. bad. Like, oh, okay, great. You know, whatever. He's a hired gun, right? Um, yeah. Which, if you, I will say this, I, I don't want to brag, but I I kind of called the what was going to happen with, with, with the butterflies. When I said, Murr is either... Uh, 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 like the Benedict Arnold trying to kill his people so he could become the leader, or he's rebelling against them because they're they're secretly evil. And so it was one of the two. But I called both of those out, and you know, yeah. it was it was the other, and it, it made me very sad to see him go. I was I thought it was very adorable when they, oh, she yeah. held Merce butterfly in her hand, and he's like, uh, I I know, like oh, guts oh, yeah. little yellow guts. <laughs> oh yeah. Little jelly guts that coming was out. That was because his and, death and, and, had purpose, right? It just wasn't for the sake of it wasn't yeah, like a shock absolutely. factor, like that. The, the linchpin, right? That's like okay, let's unite it. We got right. hardcore as the leader if now. If anything, okay. it's it's it's, it it's the fine it's the final straw that makes them have to yeah. come together and willing to go that extra mile. I got to tell you, um, I love the fact that they have such a momentous and encouraging. A powwow to go get the cow that the veterinarian oh like, god. yeah, we're in. Let's that do this. Was... Oh my god. Oh, so awesome. 
And I love that, like, no, you're gonna get killed. They have no training. Like, that, was, that, was, that was so sir. funny. Yeah, Cause that was like, yeah, they, they didn't, they weren't on camera in the short. And she's got the shotgun. That was just like, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, and she claws like that. That was brilliant. That was like, like, oh man, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and and, and they're like, they're like, are you doing it okay? Like, oh, the guy in the place is a mess. Like, <laughs> that, I forgot about that. Was a fantastic. That was so well done. That was, that, that, that was such good. a good, yeah. such a good uh, button to that yeah. to that to that moment right there. I was, I really enjoyed it. Fuck these guys. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm genuinely excited about what's gonna oh, happen yeah. next. I, 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 the last one. Yeah. Did Did you feel like the cow? The cow to me gave me really big starship trooper vibes when they saw yes. the big brain bugs yes it, it reminded me of brain bugs like, oh, yeah cool. we're gonna Bay see uh, uh what's like, his face yeah. uh is it not clancy no, neil patrick uh, harris clancy, what's his name is that clancy oh last name but the guy you know the guy who played the the, 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 the well the oh. sergeant turned private who captured the bug yeah right yeah, I yeah, yeah, see yeah, yeah. Now, you know yeah. he's one of the guys you know that would be kind of cool <sighs> with the callback, but uh but yeah, yeah you're yeah. right i got the same vibe that they say oh my god it's it's a big version of that um, I got a little bit of Star yeah. Wars vibes too, a little bit, um, a little bit, a, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Or, or yeah. if you want, if, if you want to get a little crazy, even Dune vibes uh, from those creatures that navigate oh, the ships, right, right. it kind of yeah. gave me a little bit yeah, of that too. Right. So I was like, okay, the, it, 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 it looked like a lot of things, but it had its own unique design. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can see where a lot of yeah, you drew a lot of stuff that we've seen before, kind of hodgepodge of those kind of stuff. But look, cool, it's huge. I was like, damn. Yeah, the cool. Yeah, you know, next was gonna be this is gonna be balls to the wall here. I think we're gonna get something just bonkers. This last episode, I really I, <laughs> listen. I've been hearing nothing but like episode eight is gonna yeah, blow gonna, people's yeah. minds. This, so this, this, this is the this is the kick ass episode. This is what it's gonna kick some ass and people are gonna get fucked up. It's gonna be nuts. I really... like I this episode is gonna be uh it's gonna make you feel like the first three episodes feel where they were just cuckoo bananas, nonstop awesome, but it's gonna have the heart of episode four. And the last episode we saw where they have these big transitional character moments. So it's going to be the best of both worlds in one episode, which is going to be really one exciting to see. So prediction. I mean, well, from the good guy's side, we know the bad guys are all going to get whacked. Well, most of them anyway. For the most part. Anybody get whacked on the good right. side? Hmm. We're going to get that moment like, damn. I'm thinking yes. Um, I, I, I think it'll either be Harcourt or, my first thought, uh, my first thought was her, for a second. Yeah, and, and it's and it's and it's gonna be the thing where it's gonna be a funny line where it's like you can't die. We we never got to have <laughs> sex, and 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 then, and then she she's like, I probably would have let you if I survived. And that's gonna make him get yeah. super mad. Like, oh, you, you, yeah, like you, you said like that go either way. Either she dies and that's the line, or she survives. Someone else died, and but then they have sex at the end of the show. Um, I mean, that's oh, yeah. either way. But I, I, my first thought goes grab face to her. But I, I yeah, I, I don't think vigilante. Well, vigilante, maybe. Like he, that, like he's uh, like you know I, he's so gung ho. He, he might vigilante, suck himself. It's like I got this. Fuck this. And I think vigilante whatever. might die because the vigilante character in the comic books is not that goofy. Okay. And I feel like if they ever wanted to, you know, have him die to have because in his in the comic books it's actually his brother who is vigilante. Okay. So maybe he dies and his brother takes on the mantle and becomes like the more straight laced yeah. vigilante. It so that like might he'd be the one. The easy pick is him, but so but yeah, and especially pick, yeah. because he helped he helped save Peacemaker with the thing that I said. They called out. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got oh, it, uh, weak points where the cape goes. So he attacked that. So he saved them. So now it's going to be the kind of thing where. Maybe like when when vigilante dies, vigilante is like, dude, I saved you. He didn't save me. He's like, I'm so sorry, man. I was trying to do this thing. I was like, yeah, but what is it with me for? Oh. He's like, ah, oh, vigilante. So there's a lot of. Yeah, I, I got, I got a sense. I, I got a feeling. This, maybe not. I mean, it could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. But... If if vigilante dies, there's there's got to be a funeral scene. Oh, it's gonna be super sad. <laughs> and then and then and then when they cut to where where peacemaker hardcore are they having sex <laughs> <laughs> at the funeral. <laughs> Be kind of funny. Uh, this is exactly the kind of show that they'll try to pull that off too. I guarantee it. Uh, yeah. But I could see as as an after credit scene for sure. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and 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 as 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 John Cena and Hardcore are coming, he he screams freedom, and she's like, "I'm so sad." <laughs> I can't. You mentioned funeral. I just kept thinking Will Ferrell and and wedding crashers, and you know, just. Oh my God! He's like, yeah. <laughs> I think it's at the end. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know? like I. Don't, 
I, I know John Cena can can play a piano, but obviously from Mr. One, we also know he cannot carry a vocal tune. So I don't know if he would be the one singing. I'm a little feral, but oh, who knows? My God. So, yeah, I, listen, I can't wait. It, it's really it's set up nicely for it's gonna be a bonkers ending. And yeah, I, 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 I mean, I, I don't have any doubt. They're gonna stick the landing. Like I have not a single doubt, shadow doubt. Just the, if every episode has yeah, been this gonna good stick. and yeah. based on the, the the type of work that that James Gunn has done. Like he stuck the landing at Guardians yeah, he, one two. He, he, he stuck the landing with, with Suicide Squad. Like it's it's, it's a, a sure thing. Yeah, and, he, and he is directing the last one from uh, so so yeah. yeah I, so I mean just watch the episode and I have mean, a great time because that stick landing would be incredibly disappointing to be honest with you. <laughs> It really oh would my be. God. I'm gonna be like, did Robert Rodriguez step oh, in directly? Yeah, is I know. That what happened? Is man, that, but is no, that... it's just gonna be great. It really is. I, I not a shred. Of, I'm so unconcerned about that. Really, I'm like, I'm just gonna sit back. Yeah. And I can't wait to watch this shit. The, and, and if anything, let this be. Uh, I, 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 I said it before, and I'll say it again. Uh, I think that that Peacemaker is is going to make Titans look even worse. Oh, that was now. terrible now anyway. It, it, it didn't need Peacemaker uh, to help him look bad. Just... I, Titans is Book of Boba three seasons. <laughs> well, you, yeah, you're, right. you're probably right. You know, you know what? Bring in Robert Rodriguez for that show. You might as well just just finish it off. <laughs> just, you know, just you know put the nail in the coffin. Titan is directed by him. it's a wrap. Um yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, but you know, but yeah that show obviously looks even worse in comparison. Yeah, obviously. Right. I think most shows look bad as far as the well, DC, DC has decent stuff. Do Do still still hang, hang, right? Hang. Obviously, yeah. Exactly. This, yeah, this, yeah I'm comfortable saying once it sticks, it's going to stick the landing. It's just going to be better than Doom Patrol. We talked about that, yeah, right? Absolutely. As long as we see how it ends before I make this kind of comp. But I, yeah. the way it's projected, yeah, I, yeah, easily. The best show DC has. As long as there's not even a doubt. Yeah. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Easy. Like, easy. And, and, and I, I'm what I'm really excited about is people who are getting into this show are going back and now watching the Suicide Squad because they want to know how this connects to and it's giving that movie more shine too, which is a great yeah yeah great movie. And it, as we both said very underappreciated when it came out because of the this pandemic and right. where it was lot situated. Max, people did a, it was a mess. A lot of it's stuff. Mess. People they missed. There was people who still thought it was it was the original Suicide version. They realized it was something completely different, new. And this, I think, this is giving that movie a lot more shine, which is giving just more could, shine to James Gunn like overall. Said, I, so yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, like nothing said, but good. I, I, nothing but good. Number specifically, I know it's been good for HBO, but you never know. Maybe if it does that well, whatever, and it picks up, you know, maybe we see it. We, we'll see another Listen, Suicide third Squad right most down the road. watched show in the world. It's, no, it's doing really good. For HBO. I, I'm thinking maybe this may convince him to another Suicide Squad because. Before this, I, I would so. say there was zero chance of that happening because it's just too expensive. But again, it's still it's still maybe no, but this helps its chances. But whatever that's worth. If if they if they give if they give him a sequel, uh, with just the same budget, they get like, well, we're still gonna be a little scared. So we're gonna the same budget as the, as the, yeah. as your movie. We're gonna give you another movie cut based off of this. That movie will make uh, make the money that the first movie should have made because now yeah, people they, are yeah, they that trend the budget. You know, so, they, have, they have to trend that budget because it was like two hundred million for the first. It's just too much money. It's just too much. Um, I, I think I think I think should they give it two hundred again? But now John Cena is a name on par with Idris Elba and Margot Robbie, so now it's going to draw more okay. attention and you, and really sell the idea that the, that's one thing that I have a problem with Suicide Squad is like they didn't sell the idea that King Shark was Sylvester yeah. Stallone. How do you not have that front and center? Like it made no sense to Fair me. Point. Like everybody knew. That Groot was Vin Diesel, and that and 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 that a rocket was a uh, was a uh, uh, what's Cooper. his name uh, from mm -hmm. Bradley Cooper. So they put those things on Front Street. Like, how do you not put Sebastian on Front Street as King Shark? That's a that was a bad marketing choice. It would have made more people to watch it. You get just those four back in, not even Ratcatcher, but just those four in, and you got you could do a two hundred million dollar movie of that, and have them like start with a big team. And the team gets mowed down, and it's just yeah, down to them. It's always too expensive. And you're looking at about 100, 120 at best. Because, like, like, give it 150. That's 150. A lot. That's and a lot. The I mean, listen, it, it, it bombed. It just did, and it's a lot to make up, right? And I said, let's make low bu lower budget, see how it does, and then you can talk about okay, let's get more money because it's because remember, it's, you know, 120 is expensive because you can this is a, a you don't have to have a star role in it, right? You can have you know grounded kind of this whole show has been grounded, right? right? You can, yeah. Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad, oh, yes, for the but I'm saying that's not ultra expensive. It's, it's a small scale, right. right? We're not talking about a giant starfish or whatever, or a giant cat. So for the most part, it's a trend budget for the most part. You can do a Suicide Squad in that Spain and maybe it costs 100 at best. And I think that will work. 200, that's, yeah, that's, they're never going to agree like that. 
But they'll green light like an 80 to 100. They'll do that with John Cena. Oh, no, but 100 is too low. I think you need at least 150 no, to make it, just like, legit. You can make, like, really. money, you can make a lot of good shit for, for 80 and 60 men. Well, yeah. I guess you can, yeah, but I think a superhero but you, but movie... But you keep it grounded. It's more practical. The effect is action. Don't, don't, you don't need CGI in this, kind of, in this kind of show. You don't. You don't for the most part. Ooh, you got small ooh, CGI. Ooh. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. The Suicide Squad is sent after the Legion of Doom. That would be cool. That would be interesting. But it's all... The Legion of Doom characters from the cartoon series, so they're a completely ridiculous villain. Oh, but be. they yeah. happen to have a <laughs> yeah. great master yeah. plan of destruction that actually is going to work, and that's why they're sent in there. Because before they send the heroes in there, they don't know what they're getting into. So send the Suicide Squad, and you can get all the. What would be great is like you can get uh, uh, Peacemaker, Bloodsport, Harley Quinn, King Shark, and then everyone else on the team. Are the are the villains that the Legion of Doom rejected? <laughs> so they have a personal stake in it. There you go. I'm sold. You can do that sold. for 150, and it'd be dumb. <laughs> but all that That's being it. said, so yeah, we're, I mean, yeah, good stuff. Can't wait for next next episode. We'll talk about that in a couple of weeks. Taking a week, I uh, got a vacation, so we we'll be back in a couple of weeks. But those are the nuggets, the news, and the shows for today. Guys, that has been the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We always appreciate you guys listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the show. We have a lot of cool shows on the Latin Nerd News channel here on YouTube. Uh, uh, the watch list. We have Thanos Choice and so much more stuff coming up. Trust me, it, we're still working on it, but we got more stuff coming up. I promise you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, also, guys, if you like the, the show, you want to uh, listen to the original audio version of it, you go to ericdasilva.com on the landing page. All the original audio episodes are there. And while you're there, feel free to pick up my album, Adorably Offensive. I appreciate everyone's buying it, and the more people are buying it, I just listen, it's more money in my pocket that I get to spend on nerd stuff. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that as well. And guys, don't forget to follow us on social media. We're at Nerdsplaining Pod on Instagram and Nerdsplaining underscore on Twitter. Let us know what you thought about the show, what shows we should be looking for, what shows you agree with us, what opinions you disagree with us, what your takes are. We want to know all that. Or just take photos of what you have in your collection with the hashtag NerdCred. Really appreciate that as well. Guys, as always, I have been Eric Da Silva. This has been Jose Romero. We have been Nerdsplaining. And if you don't know, now you